When I ran for office, um, I wanted to make change. Nick Owens ran in the Republican primary for the 66th House District this year. Owens says he met with Larry Householder in late 2018 to get his endorsement. Owens says they discussed another House race that year. And he told me how he saved uh, the representative uh, from defeat by dumping in about $500,000 to prop up his campaign at the end. And he even went as far as to showing me, having his staff show me the ad that they went and spent a lot of money on. Owens told the FBI about that conversation in March. He didn't receive householders backing and was being hit hard by dark money ads. Owens is listed as individual one in the criminal complaint charging householder and others in a $60 million bribery scheme. The truth is we can't trust Nick Owens. That's a negative ad that endorsed one of Owens' opponents in the primary, Alan Freeman. Freeman and Owens lost the race. Campaign finance documents show the growth and opportunity pack paid for the ads with money the FBI says came from Householder via First Energy. On radio, TV, TV and the mailbox, they were all similar. All the radio ads were similar with the official campaign and the dark money campaign. It was clear it was all being um, administered by Larry Householder at the top. Owens showed us mailings, the same post office permit number and color scheme used on the mailers from Freeman's campaign and the PAC. Owens says it's clear coordination, which is illegal. Freeman tells Local 12 News there was no coordination. I think as part of this process, I helped expose and be a part of an exposure of the horrible system we have in the state of Ohio, of its pure pay to play. It's who can bring a check, who buys access, Nick Owens' term on the State Board of Education expires this year. He says he's going to take a break from running for office for now. In Claremont County, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News.